In this video, we're going to have a look at calculating what's called the percentage profit or the percentage loss, depending on whether or not it's a profit or a loss that's being made. Now, the type of question that this might come up in might be worded as find the profit as a percentage of the cost price or alternatively find the loss as a percentage of the cost price. Now, it's not just the same as finding the profit or finding the loss. You've got a formula that you need to learn. To find the percentage profit, what you need to do is you need to, first of all, work out the actual profit, divide that by the original price, the cost price, and once you've done that, you multiply the whole thing by 100. Okay? That's how you would find out the percentage profit, and that's a formula you need to actually learn. Now, if it's a loss that's being made, what you'll be finding is the percentage loss, or the loss as a percentage of the original price or of the cost price. So the percentage loss is just the actual loss divided by the original price, and it's all multiplied by 100 again. So these are formulae that you need to learn, because without knowing that, you won't be able to answer these questions, and they won't come up in your formula sheet either. So that's something you need to learn. Okay. Now, here we have two typical questions. Okay. So first of all, Kevin buys a football ticket for £20, and he sells it for £24. Calculate his percentage profit. Well, how much money has he made? He's made £4. So the actual profit is £4. So we'll start off by saying the percentage profit Remember, that was equal to the actual profit, so in this case it's £4, divided by the original price. The original price is 20, and you multiply the whole thing by 100, and you get an answer of 20. Now, it's 20%, because what you're doing is finding the profit as a percentage of the original price. Okay? So there you have it. The profit divided by the original price multiplied by 100. The second question, Fiona buys a laptop computer for £750 and sells it for less than she bought it for. So selling it for £550. Find this time the percentage loss. So, writing things out, setting things out, percentage loss is going to be the actual loss. Now how much money, money has she lost? She's lost £200. What are we dividing by? It's the original price she paid for it. So that's the £750 here. We then multiply it by 100, work it all out, and to the nearest whole number, we find that it's 27%. Okay? Now, unless the question specifies to what degree you ought to find your answer, you can give it either to the nearest whole number, like we will here, or perhaps to one decimal place. Okay? Now, let's have a look at these questions here. Okay? Now, um, we'll do the first three. And then you can do the last three yourselves. Okay. Now, what's happening here? Something was bought for £25. It was sold on for £39. So the profit is going to be £14. To work out the percentage profit, we would do the actual profit divided by the original price, which is 25 multiplied all by 100, and we would get an answer of 56%. Okay, what's going on here? Something was bought for £18, sold for 20 so we've made a £2 profit. To work out the percentage profit, it's the actual profit divided by the original price it was paid, multiplied by 100, work all that out, and to the nearest whole number, it's a profit of 11%. Now the third one, something was bought for £9, sold for £4, so it's a loss this time of £5. So to get the percentage loss, it's the actual loss divided by the original price of £9. Multiply by 100, and we get an answer of 56%. Okay? So that's all there is to it. So you work out the last three yourselves, and check uh, back and see how you get on. So pause the video, do the last three yourselves, and check to see how you get on. So the next one, let's have a look and see. 
we're making a profit of 65 pence. So the percentage profit will be 65 divided by the original price of 80 multiplied by 100 and we get a percentage of 81%. This next one, we've made a loss of 25 pounds. So the percentage loss is going to be 25 divided by 90 multiplied by 100 and that's all equal to 28% to the nearest whole number. And finally, we have made a loss of £130. So to express that as a percentage of the original price, or as a percentage of the cost price, we take our actual loss, divide by the original price, multiply it all by 100, and to the nearest whole number, we've made a loss of 38%. So that's all you do to work out the profit or the loss as a percentage of the cost price. Remember, these are formulae that you need to know and that you need to learn.